three years in Sheridan at the FCI and this year here. I think after this year, Sue told me we're going to go on the road next year at the coast, Eastern Oregon after that, and then maybe nationwide. I don't know. I think it's going to be a great event. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, I was here. I can remember being here. This jacket tells you that I've, I've been around a few years, 61, 61. Um, that tells you that a little bit about my age. Uh, for those of you who graduated from Willamina, that's about, I'm about 55. <laughs> <laughs> this first one says I started school in Sheridan in 1958. And that year in Willamina, we came to Willamina and played football. I uh, got beat 66 to 6. <laughs> When I graduated in 1961, we got beat 60 to 14. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, mine had kicked our rear for four years. Just in football. But anyway, <laughs> that's enough reminiscing about the old days. Um, tonight we got another event to honor those people who who have done a great job this last year, an amazing job this last year in the uh, Sheridan area and the Willamina area, but uh, mainly in the Sheridan area. Um, you know, by 1961, I'd already had my first auto accident. <laughs> and I already had my first in a lot of areas by that time. I heard that gasp, but don't worry, I've never told up till now. I won't tell tonight. <laughs> I know I was 12, you were 19. <laughs> we can reminisce about that while we dance tonight. <laughs> but again, I won't tell. <laughs> you were my babysitter. <laughs> it's hard for some of you to believe, but I was big for my age. <laughs> but enough of reminiscing. <laughs> we better get back to the night's events. <laughs> First, we want to, uh, to honor the benefactors who uh, make the event possible and help with the financing of the event and, and help with the Chamber of Commerce. And so with that, I'd like to thank these people who have helped tonight and the diner benefactors, those people who have contributed at $200 to the night events, Adamson Sheridan Funeral Home. Excuse me, Val, for stuttering on that a little bit. Um, <laughs> Wave Broadband, First Federal Bank, Western Oregon Waste, City of Sheridan. The Jukebox Benefit. <laughs> Maybe I had one too many Wrigley's. <laughs> Or maybe I was uh, graduated, uh, graduated from Sheridan. I'll get back, help out those little minor folks that I was causing trouble for a little bit earlier. Jukebox Benefactors, $100 donations, Adamson's Realty Plus, LLC, Hagen Hamilton Insurance, Sheridan Fire District, and the Rotary Club. And the record benefactors, $50 donators, were Dr. Kenneth G. Mize, DMD, G&M Insurance, City of Willamina, the American Legion, Post 75, and the West Valley Veterinary Clinic. Thank all of you for your donations to the event tonight. Thank you. Also want to thank uh, the uh, people who provided the food tonight, Simply Delish. Um, the Herbers from out on Mill Creek Road, our neighbors, and uh, they did a great job tonight. I enjoyed the food very much, and I know that all of you did too. So uh, I want to thank Carson and Sheila and the folks in the back of the room tonight. Thank you. And now I think it's time to start with the uh, presentation of awards. And, uh, and uh, at the top of the list tonight, as always, and the uh, top presenter tonight, starting with Bob White with Phil Sheridan Days. If I could have him come forward, please. Never saw a microphone I didn't like. Uh, Gary Hampton gave me permission to tell a Gary Hampton joke, which you probably all heard 
Gary, do you want to tell it? I no, mean, no, go ahead. <laughs> well, you usually tell it much better than I do. <laughs> okay, anyway, 50 years of wedded bliss. You've all heard it. What do you attribute to 50 years of wedded bliss? Well, it's just very easy. Twice a week, we go out to have champagne, we have dinner, candlelight, dancing, romance. She goes on Tuesday and I go on Friday. <laughs> anyway, Sue gave me five minutes. Probably prefer to have two, but we do have an award tonight. And the award goes to uh, Lauren Goodman, who did a fantastic job at our auto show. Yeah, yes, and did. so Lauren couldn't make it tonight. However, he did make it to our first meeting, which was Tuesday. And we had uh, about 25 people show up for this meeting. And Karen Christensen told me not to say this, but the uh, rumor mill is that and I want to hear some, see some happy faces. We're going to put the Phil back in chair. Sorry, Karen. The second good news, Roy Zembrick was rumored to say, if we put the Phil back in Sheridan, we could, he'll do the Timber Carnival for us in Sheridan. Yeah. What a guy. Yeah. My time up here. Not unless you want it to be unlocked. Sue's in charge of the time. Well, I could tell one more joke. You want to hear another yeah. joke? Yeah. Time's up, all. <laughs> <laughs> the blind guy walked in the bar. He said, I want to tell a dumb blonde joke. And the bartender says, Before you tell that dumb blonde joke, I want to tell you something. I weigh 340 pounds and I'm blonde. The guy on your left weighs 260 pounds and he's blonde. The guy on your right weighs 240 pounds and he's blonde. You still want to tell that dumb blonde joke? No, I don't have to say it three times. <laughs> Bob and I were, or Bob and I, Val and I were walking out of a Kentucky Fried Chicken last week together, and it uh, doesn't happen very often, but we'd had lunch together, buying lunch and taking it out together, and we bought one of those meals where you get the three pieces of chicken, the uh, mashed potatoes and the gravy, the biscuit, the honey, butter, all the whole meal deal. It was, it's quite a meal, as you know, and we were walking out with the, with the baskets, each of us had one of those, and as we walked out, there was a poor guy there sitting on the corner, and obviously down and out of luck, and it looked terrible. And the guy looked at us, and he says, I haven't had anything to eat in two days. And Val looked right at him, and I admire him for this. He says, God, I admire your, okay. your uh, willpower. <laughs> and we just went right on. <laughs> Val's just got that kind of ability to tell a guy, you know, Give him a real compliment at a time like that. <laughs> Rotary Club has got a presentation to make tonight, too. And Rotary Club has been around Sheridan for two years. It'll be 75 years. We'll celebrate our 75th year in 2014. And so uh, that's something that... Uh, we're very proud of to be a member of, or to be in the community for that many years. And uh, tonight we've got uh, two presentations to make. One of them is here and one of them is not here. And the first presentation is to our Paul Harris fellow. Paul Harris started Rotary back in the early 1910 is when she, he started Rotary. And um, the Paul Harris fellow goes to a member in the Sheridan Club every year who we feel has done an outstanding job of representing Rotary. And uh, this gal has been the uh, secretary of Rotary in our club since 1993 and has done an outstanding job every year of uh, doing the job of making sure that our dues are paid on time, 
that all the correspondence is made on time. She's just done an excellent job as part of Rotary and doesn't get the recognition that she deserves on an annual basis. And this year, the board felt that she deserved the Paul Harris Fellow. And so we're going to present that to her tonight. Teresa Weir, would you come up, please? tonight for our volunteer of the year, a member of our club who this year has done, and in past years, has done an awful lot for our Rotary Club, and, and he is very instrumental in putting on the mud drags uh, for our club as a volunteer. He uh, donates a lot of time to the mud drags as far as um, keeping the weeds down at Myers Woodline. He um, volunteers a lot of his personnel to uh, the mud drags, actually sometimes pays them most of the time pays them to go down there and help us with the mud drags. And that's Daryl Vadone, Vatone from uh, Tektronix. So he's not here this evening, but we want to give him an award also tonight for Volunteer of the Year. So thank you, Daryl, for that. And now I'd like to introduce Gary Brooks from the Willamina Chamber of Commerce to present his award to the Willamina Chamber. to welcome back to the podium, Sandy Ficker. one more story while we're getting organized. <laughs> it's good to have that one on hand. <laughs> the story about Teddy and Sully, and a farmer comes up and knocks on the door of his neighbor, and he's, one of the boys comes to the door, and he says, uh, is your dad home? And the son says, no, he's not home. And he says, well, is your mom home? And the guy says, no, he's, he went to town with, she went to town with dad. He says, well, is Teddy home? He says, no, Teddy's not home either. He says, is there anything I can do to help you? And he says, well, he says, you know, he says, Teddy and Sully have been running around a little bit together, my daughter. And he says, yeah, he says, I know. And he says, well, Sully's pregnant. And uh, just want to know what your dad was going to do about it. The boy says, well, he says, I don't know. He says, I know when Daddy takes the bull up to the neighbors. He says he gets $100 for the bull. But he says, I don't know what he's going to ask for Teddy. <laughs> This is where we've learned all of our jokes. Anyway, so we're going to start with the awards for the Sheridan Chamber of Commerce. These um, people that we recognize every year do so much for our community. 
And so we're so honored to be able to bring recognition to them. So our first category is Business of the Year. And the nominees are, and if they are here, we would like for them to come up so they can be recognized amongst their peers. Um, the nominees for Business of the Year are Jay Wrigley Vineyards, Sheridan Fire Department, Slow Train Coffee and Tea House, Spartan's Lunchbox, and The Sun. Is anybody here to be, or stand up and wave so we know who you are? Okay, so the, the um, recipient of the award tonight voted on amongst their peers is Business of the Year, Jay Wrigley Fi uh, Vineyard. Jay Wrigley Vineyards, I'm so sorry. Um, Jody and John. The, while you're coming up, I'll read and tell people about a little bit about yourself. The Wrigley family purchased 200 acres of vineyard land in 2006 and planted their first Pinot, Pinot Noir, Riesling, and Pinot Gris vines in October 2008. Should have read this ahead of time. <laughs> take, take a drive to the top of Cherry Hill and enjoy their tasting room, which was opened this year. Jay Wrigley Wines has been enjoyed at a number of events in Sheridan, First Wednesday, History Museum Fundraiser, Slow Train, as well as tonight at our banquet. We appreciate their contributions to this community and look forward to working together at many more events. For the travelers, you will find Jay Wrigley Wines at Portland Seafood and Wine Festival, Newport Seafood and Wine Festival, and the McMinnville SIP. Be sure to check out their webpage and blog. Congratulations, Jody and John. And so would any of all of these nominees please come forward if they're here tonight. Um, we have Heart and Soul Creations, Slow Train, Coffee and Tea House, and Jay Wrigley Vineyards. Would any of those come forward if they're here? Or stand up and wave. Up and wave. <laughs> they're here. So we know that. Okay. And the winner tonight is? Winner? <laughs> this year. The new business of the year was Slow Train Coffee, Juan and Laura Cortez. Best cup of coffee in Yamhill County reads the Facebook page, and if it's on the Facebook book, it must be right. Mora and Juan Cortez and boys Juan and Jose can be seen in their coffee shop serving socializing as well as preparing for a fundraising to help out one of many groups around Sheridan. Something fun is always happening at Slow Train, whether it's geared for adults, young adults, a whole family. Some examples include karaoke, teen dances, performances, kids, arts, classes, and even delish breakfasts. As quoted by customers, a very warm place you want to hang out. Thank you, Slow Train, and congratulations. take this back and make sure that they get, a, get the award. Thank you. And the Volunteer of the Year um, nominees are Susan Chamberlain, Holly Vining, Harry Cooley, Bryce Begby, Sheridan History Museum, Kim Green, Brianna May, Mize, excuse me, Brianna Mize, Sue Adamson, Lennox Fleury, and Ken Hewlett. And the recipient, so stand if you're here, because I know that a bunch of you are here, because I've seen you tonight. You know, it's just 
so hard to recognize all of the, I mean, it's, we can recognize the volunteers, but to find just one is so impossible. And so um, this is one, the, the, the recipient of this award really deserves it as well as everybody else. But tonight, tonight um, we're proud to announce our Volunteer of the Year is Brianna Mize. <laughs> Dentistry, a family-run business. She is instrumental to the office both clerically and clinically. Also, she can be counted on to whip up a birthday cake in a flash for the staff. <laughs> Growing up, Brianna was a tapper for Miss Bev and an active Girl Scout. Thanks to her ready smile, she could count on making many a cookie sale. Where would First Wednesday be without Brianna? Not only is is not only is she on the committee, she is the treasure and produces amazing artwork on many a face. Look around you. Most of the artwork you see was hand-produced by Brianna. Without her, our trip back to the 50s would not have been possible. Congratulations, Brianna. <laughs> Junior Citizen of the Year Award, and the nominees are Boy Scout Troop 215, Christopher Taylor, and Hunter Michelson. Michelson. Sorry about that. Come close. If you would all stand if you're here, please. And this year's Junior Citizen of the Year is going to a Boy Scout Troop 215. Representative from Boy Scout 215, please come up. Congratulations to Boy Scout 215, Troop 215. The troop, comprised of youth and adults from Sheridan and Willamina, is very active in our community. We consistently count on them for services, projects, as well as helping out in a pinch. Some of the projects include scouting for food, food bank collection, goodwill uh, turnout, uh, goodwill collection, Fireman breakfast, serving and cleaning, Willamina Pond cleanup, spent time helping with the West Valley Community Center, Phil Sheridan Day's parade participation, a sampling of the many Eagle projects include a greenhouse at the Sheridan Japanese Program, construction of benches at patios at Faulkner Chapman, community labeling of drainage. The troop also have formed a Relay for Life team, see Harry Cooley or Leanne Michelson, to join, thank you for not only the scouts, but their dedicated leaders as well. Thank you. Okay, now we would like Belinda, please come forward. Or sideways, whichever way it may be. Well, I wanted to be able to announce Citizen of the Year. I kept it a secret. I'm so proud. Um, I don't do that very well. And I'm not very good on the mic like Sandy and Gary are. And I don't know jokes. Okay, so um, I'm just going to read from my little blurb here. Um, the city of Sheridan first met Sue in 2006 when she and Val were married. Although working for the family business as a bookkeeper and driving school bus, she was in need of something more challenging. She attended a Chamber of Commerce meeting, and the rest is history, as event evidenced by her hard work, time, and dedication to Sheridan. Sue has invested many hours with Chamber First Wednesday, and as well as attending and supporting a, well, I can't talk, a wide variety of community events. Sue is a great asset to Sheridan. A word of warning, though, and I have found this out working with the banquet. Be careful what you ask of her, because she will not hold anything back. 
And that's quoted from Val, too. <laughs> um, so I wanted to congratulate Sue for this President's Award. Um, I totally kept it a secret, and I lied to her and all that good stuff. But she's so deserving of this award this year. And Sue, come on over here. <laughs> Some announcements, and for the West Valley Community Center, Aaron Bear, would you please come forward? Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk a little about the West Valley Community Campus here. Um, I was debating about standing in the back, so that was a great idea, by the way. <laughs> That's covered by the microphone and make sure everyone can hear me. Okay. If you can't hear me, just raise your hand and. Hi, Rekka, how are you doing? <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about the West Campus, here, West Valley uh, Community Campus here. No matter what I say here. Hi. How are you doing? I have a new friend here. I don't know if right here, because that'd be really nice, because you just didn't be my assistant, that'd be easier. So I'm just going to lean against the table and make it a little casual. Um, no matter what I say here about the campus, I'm never going to be able to accurately describe what goes on here. Um, this is a great um, atmosphere that's being produced in this, uh, the West Valley campus here. Um, I'm going to embarrass Dave for just a moment. Stand up, Dave. Please. Please. <laughs> Take a second and give him a round of applause. <laughs> so Dave is very instrumental for getting everything organized here for the campus, and he is phenomenal. And he has devoted a lot of time here. Um, and he's also done a very successful job of recruiting people for volunteers. Um, I, I fortunately have been one of those people he has talked into returning several times here to work. So and I, th I thank you for that. <laughs> but it's, it's a great atmosphere because he's doing a great job of pulling people in here from um, from Sheridan, Willamina, and from Grand Ron. You're truly making this a West Valley campus. Um, it's nothing that's specific for Willamina. It's great for pulling people together. Um, let's embarrass everybody else here. Who else has volunteered here at the West Valley campus? There we go. That is wonderful to see. Wonderful to see. Thank, yes, let's give him a round of applause. Um, and I think... Let's see, Dave gave me, uh, what, six, seven pages here? I could have read that I was vetoed in getting like 30 minutes to talk, so I have to keep this moving along. Um, so lots of volunteers are here. Um, Dave, if I'm wrong in reading this, let me know. Uh, 967 volunteer hours um, from October 1st to December 23rd, 2011, um, and include, like I said, everybody from Sheridan, Grand Ronde, and Willamina. That's a lot of hours. Um, that include work here in the gym, or sorry, in the auditorium here, here, uh, the classroom, the hallway, the next door, and a lot of the grounds work. Night and day difference from what it's looking like. A lot of hard work went in. Um, a lot of donations are required for it too. Um, uh, Skyberg donated coffee and food, Kylie Joe's donating food, um, Patsy, Buzz Patsy Buswell. Donating meals for volunteers, Wildwood Cafe, 
um, a lot of different places. Sorry, I'm trying to thin this down so I don't have to read everything and take up too much time. So, phase one of the West Valley Community Campus here is focused here in the auditorium wing. And some of the work that they've done is uh, replace the boiler system with uh, the heating units that are just on the other side of those walls over there. Um, replace the damaged ceiling tiles, uh, redo the floors, um, repainting, a lot of painting, a lot of cleaning, um, and getting more chairs. Um, the phase two on here is listed as the, the gym wing. So looking to uh, improve the gym over there and the science classrooms across from the gym to make those usable. Um, for a wide variety of options. And I think that uh, one thing we need to make sure that everyone is aware of is the ideas for what this community uh, center can be, or the West Valley Community Campus can be, is actually coming from the community. There's been a couple of meetings that have come here, or been here, that have been trying to raise ideas for what this can be uh, for the community. Um, some of the ideas are focused around adult education, uh, drama, actually having plays in here, um, events, like for chamber events, um, class reunions, uh, charter schools, sports activities. We already have yoga going on. Um, there's plans to have a farmer's market um, being developed here. And that was just from one of the sessions. Another one is us talking about having co concerts, um, senior activities, dog park, health centers, um, Vocational schools, commercial kitchen, uh, aquatic center, uh, movie nights. As you can see, these are all huge activities that can bring the communities together in the surrounding areas. Um, and again, this is going to be successful and it's going to be, continue to be successful, but it's also going to be success successful because of us. Um, everyone coming together and working here. Um, so I think that's all I had to say about that right now. Um, if there's any questions, uh, there is a Facebook page for it. Um, it has lots of information there. Um, and if you want to volunteer, um, just contact somebody who's volunteered here or contact Dave and we'll get you on the distribution list. Um, great communication tool to make sure everyone's on the same page for when to show up here and what work needs to be done. Thanks, everybody. I get the opportunity to uh, introduce the next person on the uh, agenda tonight. Before I do, I know he's got five minutes on the agenda, and uh, I want to take a little bit of that before he uses it up. Because Clinton Vining, the son, I just want to say that um, he and Holly have been an integral part of this community, and uh, I hate to see them leave. And uh, I know that uh, tonight with... Uh, with uh, his comments tonight will probably be the last comments that he'll be able to make in public. Thank God. <laughs> but uh, I was thinking back and I was thinking probably the biggest mistake Sheridan made, one of mine of the West Valley made, was not passing a conception tax when before they came. Because with a conception tax we could have probably <laughs> probably built a path between here and Willamina, between Sheridan and Willamina, just on that alone. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I, I do want to say that uh, uh, Clinton and Holly, uh, we're going to miss you guys, and now I want to turn it over to you. permission to say this, but I just wanted to point out a couple of things that Aaron kind of missed on the community campus here, and that's that none of this would be possible without Dick Pay, who is here, who purchased the <laughs> and Dave Boswell, who has probably put in about 940 of those 960 hours himself, so thanks to his wife also. 
West Valley, Kiwanis gave a very generously gave us fifty thousand dollars towards the project. So the next thing that I have to say is, um, many of you have probably heard the rumor, and then last week we published it in the paper that we are leaving town. Um, I was able to tell many of the people here personally, but I wanted to take this opportunity to get to tell the rest of you, at least kind of personally, um, what, what's going on. But we have, um, we, I am taking a job in Colorado. Um, we're making the move to uh, save our ownership in the paper, to save the paper in general, and to save my employees' jobs. Uh, I have a cold, and when I have a cold, I get a buzzy ear, and so every time people clap, my ear goes <laughs> uh, Which is why I'm doing <laughs> but, um, We've hired Marguerite Alexander, who is here. She's going to be taking over as the managing editor. Yeah. She'll be handling the uh, weekly grind for us. Um, if Marguerite would stand up. Yeah. Marguerite has been a long time Sheridan resident um, and I believe started here to begin with before she uh, went to Newburgh for high school. Uh, and she's been writing for the paper for a very long time. I have total confidence that she's going to do a great job in continuing the positive um, moves that we've done with the paper since we bought it almost five years ago. Uh, everybody's asking, so I am going to work for Holly's dad in Colorado. He has a manufacturing company. I'll be working there. I will also be continuing to work as the publisher um, and uh, obviously I still will be the owner and, and have those responsibilities. Um, we're going to deeply miss the community here. Um, we've had a great time getting involved in the community, but we're, we've still got this stake here. It's still important to us that this community does very good and we will support it in any way that we can um, from our new home. Um, I, I know that Holly wants to say a little bit too, but the one thing that I will say is just please, in any way that you can, continue to support the newspaper. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, subscribe. Talk your neighbors into subscribing. Um, buy one for your kid going away to school. Um, and I, there's a, we have a lot of advertisers in this room, and that's how uh, we support the paper is through advertising dollars. And so I thank you for everything that you have done and ask for your continued support in that way. And with that, I'll hand it to I think you said it all, pretty much. But I just want to, I want to say a personal thank you because this is our first home together. Don't get done. It's been a lot of fun. And you guys are really wonderful. And, you know, Will and I shared it and... You know, our, our boys love it, and it's been a welcoming community. So, thank you. <laughs> if you haven't been out to, if you haven't been out to First Wednesday, Holly's wearing the First Wednesday apron. I believe the chili cook-off is going to be in April. So, April's First Wednesday. No, but March, March is our March, March. March is starting. Thank you, Doug. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And now, I'd like to turn it over to Sue Adamson uh, for some remarks uh, from the chamber. Sue. First of all, um, I haven't really composed myself. Thank you everybody for that award. Second of all, the design for all the programs and all the signs and everything that you've seen around town for the last 
probably two months. Um, Melissa Adamson Bear is the one who created the design. She worked tirelessly to create the, um, the theme for the event. And I just want to thank her because she just did such a fabulous job. And she was sick. Her eyes were bothering her. She had all kinds of problems. But she, she came through for us. So everything that you've seen regarding this banquet tonight is because of her design. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> have to read. Um, I'm amazed tonight for a lot of reasons, but um, this is a night that almost didn't happen. There was a lot of problems with putting together this event. Um, and before I get to what I'm up to up here, I'd like to make a point. Would everybody from Wilhelmina please stand up just where you are, just stand up if you're from Wilhelmina and you're here tonight. evening where Sheridan gets to um, honor our own and we have over 28 people here who have nothing to gain but lend support and be a part of our celebration and I want to thank everyone for coming but just a little bit extra for the Williminians I, I don't know is that what you call yourselves but anyway for the eager support for so many of you, and I really appreciate it. We've worked hard to get the communities to work together, and you showed up. Thanks. Appreciate it. I hope this is the beginning of something that continues. Okay, I don't like being up here alone, so I'd like to ask the following people to come up and stand up in front of me, please. Ann Meyer. <clears throat> Kim Green, John and Diana Hebert, or a substitute for them, Brianna Mize, and Belinda Ogle. Seven years ago, my husband, one of the most dedicated, hardworking, and generous people I know, Val Adamson, Sheridan's mayor, brought me up here from San Diego. Five of these seven years I've spent as president of the chamber, which back then was a tiny, tiny group, effective but tiny. Since then, we've grown to a record-blasting 40 members and have done some amazing things because of the amazing people, these people and many more out there. Uh, I'm not going to go into all of them, but just wanted to share that this has been accomplished by a small band of us who have refused to quit. And believe me, there were times when the frustration level and lack of enthusiasm from everyone but us lack of funds, or letters to the editor saying how ineffective, lazy, and uncaring the chamber was. You've all read them, I'm sure. We'd get to us, and we actually talked about letting it go, letting the chamber just dissolve. It takes a very special kind of person to keep things going when things really get tough, and although there are more than those standing up here with me now, contrary to the beliefs of some, not everyone gets a gold star. So I had to choose. And so I'd like to present this year's Chamber President's Awards to, first, Ann Meyer. <laughs> Ann, who with her husband Jim owns the West Valley Veterinary Hospital, thank you for bringing to us a very necessary level of resilience and calm. And she always somehow manages to show up at our first Wednesday meetings and events. She also holds a separate job apart from the clinic, and she runs a family. Thanks, Ann. We really appreciate you. Second, <laughs> you. 
second, John and Diana Hebert, who own Normart Rentals. They couldn't be here tonight because of her work, but if you've ever been to a single First Wednesday event, you've seen John and Diana at work mending the registration desk or anywhere and everywhere else that they're needed. Um, thanks to John and Diana, and I believe Lucy is here too. Right behind her. <laughs> They're awesome. Thirdly, Kim Green, owner of Northwest Property Sales, probably the busiest person I know with not only her work but her family and she always finds time for all of us friends. I begged her, I think, to come back to the chamber kicking and screaming, no, 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 I've been there, that doesn't work, don't make me do it, I don't want to come back. <laughs> Well, she showed up, she stepped up, she's never let us down. She also took on chairing the membership committee. Thanks, Kim, you're the best. Thank you for everything you've done, and most, most of all, for your friendship. Surprise, moving along. <clears throat> In April, I resigned as chamber president. Most people didn't know. We had to find somebody to replace me. Um, anyway, the reason I did it is I need to spend more time at home. I need to spend time with, my, with Val. I need to spend time on our family businesses, which have definitely been suffering. Um, and it's taken several months to figure it all out, and I believe we really have. A new position's been added, and this couldn't be filled by just anyone. It had to be someone with energy and commitment, someone who will be compatible with the president, <clears throat> someone with dedication, and we found them. So with that, I'd like to introduce you to our new vice president of the Sheridan Chamber of Commerce, who came out of nowhere when her mom brought her to a meeting some time ago, the amazing, talented, dedicated, and willing Brianna Mize. I don't have anything to hand to her. Anyway, she's the daughter of Dr. Dentist Ken and Mary Mize. And um, now, who is she vice president to? Someone I knew would be perfect for it after studying her, watching her, someone who literally physically, physically backed away from me when I approached her about it. She had this look in her eye of utter fear and total rejection of the whole idea, shaking her head no. She was literally backing up. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, um, this went on for some time, weeks I think, but she apparently thought about it and after, I believe she did some research on what she might be able to bring to the chamber, she ultimately accepted. At least, I think she did. She never really said yes. <laughs> I had difficult moments too because being the type A person that I am, it's hard to give up control. But I'm so happy it's her. So I'd like to introduce our new chamber president, Belinda Ogle. who I affectionately call the double B girls, Belinda and Brianna. I'm totally confident the chamber and therefore the community will not only see good things continuing but getting better and better with new energy and exuberance. It's time to turn things over to a new generation and with that I say congratulations, good luck, and band Get up there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One more thing. One more thing. I'm sorry. We wouldn't have this band tonight if it wasn't for... We were having trouble figuring out how we were going to pay these guys. <laughs> J.W. Milligan and Val Adamson both volunteer, voluntarily stepped up to pay for the band tonight. Thank you, guys. I turned it over. 
over to Belinda. I'm done. Well, I just want to say to get the party started, but...